Hey folks, Catalog's back, though with more low-priority queries. Still, there's some nice metaphorical cookies, so let's get a snackin'. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Alert! Extremely high caseload continues to impact query response. Questions with low-priority impact but high meta-utility selected. Answers abbreviated. Seems like Catalog is asking us to shut the fuck up. Silly Catalog. Our appetite for knowledge is nigh insatiable. Query. What date did the Battle of Drathius V, Ref, Halo, Spartan Assault, take place? Query answer. Human naval records indicate Covenant forces began their assault on Drathius V in 2554. A year's good, but a proper date would have been preferred. Nitpicking again, I know. Query. What is the status of the City of Sydney as of 2557 or 8? Query answer. Open source human records describe Sydney as a core primary city on Erdetairine. Query, why is Petty Officer 2nd Class Linda 058 named as the Scout, and why is Petty Officer 2nd Class Kelly 087 listed as the Sniper of Blue Team? I'm sorry, but this is a very big and extremely stupid mistake. Query, answer, technical oversight. However, through Mentari, records do indicate that all Spartan 2 personnel are cross-trained in a number of combat actuation roles. Yep, a technical oversight. If only that were the case for some of the other issues in that damned comic. Query. What is the status and current unit of Ash G099, Mark G313, Olivia G291, Tom B292, and Lucy B091? Are they still considered part of Blue Team? Please say yes. Query answer. For Mentari, records indicate that Blue Team, as currently constituted, contains only Spartan 2 personnel. Query. What is the name and caliber of the machine pistol in Halo Spartan Assault? Researching. Query. Can you give us a hint toward the identity of the monitor seen accompanying the Ord Didact following his defeat on Mantle's approach? Query answer. Signature of monitor does not match that of construct assigned as Site Operations Controller. Well, we can confirm that the monitor aiding the Didact in Escalation 8 was an 049 abject testament. Though, Catalog does mention a Site Operations Controller. Does this mean that the final scene in Escalation was set on Installation 03? Or that the planet the Didact was on had another monitor assigned as its caretaker. Query. Are there any key ships left in the Milky Way galaxy? Query. Answer. No. Conservation lifeboats were to remain active after enactment of conservation measure. But of course, we know at least one remained intact. Query. How practical are any of the UNSC vehicles? Query. Answer. Practicality is a function of context. Human vehicles are combat effective within the scope and theater of their operational use. Query. Last confirmed sighting of the Prophet race. Query. Answer. Limited numbers of Perfidia Venomous continue to be encountered in both human and covenant spheres. So it seems the San Shayum are still around, but their already low numbers are dwindling further. Query. What is the status of June A266? Query. Answer. Through Mentari, records indicate queried individual maintains a command and control role in human exploratory security forces. Seems that June is alive and well in 2558 and remains as a Spartan commander within the Spartan branch. Query, what mechanism caused Epilogue to implode so violently during Requiem's fall into said native star? Query, answer. Analysis of stellar dynamics is outside catalog's purview. However, preliminary forensic analysis results are consistent with total failure of plasma shell maintenance systems and a failsafe implementation of parasite containment protocol at Warrior Servant Castra. This one is pretty cool. The fact that Epilogue went supernova at the end of Spartan Ops has been a point of contention for some fans. It seems that the measure was part of a flood containment protocol should Requiem ever fall into the hands of the flood. I wonder if such failsafes might play a role in future games or stories. Do all catalog units have a separate extension by which they may be called? This is referring to x.e8 we have seen in your previous communications. Clarification. x.e8 indicates local terminal node access. Human personnel are not permitted to access interlink systems. So... Seems that x.e8 is not the name of our catalog unit, but a terminal node, presumably within the Edom terminal. Oops. Query, are the Hesteros Sanghili a different subspecies to that of the natives of Sanghelios, considering the marked differences in appearance? Query, answer. Matocognatus display a range of phenotypic variation, human life worker, population genetics. Analysis does not indicate evidence of reproductive isolation in extent colonies or anomalous genetic structure within populations. 
Query. Did the UNSC begin re-terraforming Reach following its glassing in 2552? Query. Answer. Human records indicate that Pioneer Group, units assigned to Epsilon Aridani 2, in November 2553, for initial search and assess and mega engineering scoping. So, while we don't have a definite date for Reach's re-terraforming, efforts started as early as 2553, with pioneering groups making assessments. We do know that recolonization occurred in 2589, as seen at the end of Halo Reach. Yeah, because Catalog will spoil Escalation's story for us. Clarification. Incorrect. Query. Was the station encountered by INF-101 UNSC Infinity, under control of the new Colonial Alliance and Vatagajat's group, used at a prior point by the Covenant Empire? Query. Answer. Facility signature is consistent with human through Matari records of Covenant System Kasra. Simply put, the Glassian Beam Station was something that humans had encountered before. Query. What company was Spartan 3 Commando Rosenda 344 a part of? Again, Alpha, Beta, or Gamma. Query. Answer. Alpha. I loved this one. Rosenda A344, a Spartan kept on a rotational roster for Noble Team. Well, that's all for now, folks. Stay tuned for more catalog as it happens. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.